Hey everyone, it's so good to see you in a brand new year. I hope you had a lovely break and if any of you had to pause life plans in 2020 due to its COVID craziness, then hopefully this year we can all get back on track. For my first video of 2021, I'm excited to share with you the details of how I had my vintage Chanel Duma backpack repaired by a third party. If any of you have ever purchased Chanel from a source which is not directly the boutique, or if any of your Chanel bags are more than five years old, then watch this video carefully because likely you too may have to seek a third party repairer. Some of you may remember that back in 2015, Chanel changed their repair policy so that despite the authenticity of your bag, they may not accept it for future servicing. Now, before you freak out, the good news is that Chanel is not your only option. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that my vintage backpack was beautifully restored by leather surgeons based in Pennsylvania, USA. Today we're going to run through Chanel's fine print. I'll share with you the before and after shots alongside pricing, shipping and logistical issues such as how to not accidentally get charged customs import tax since this bag was crossing between countries. Thank you so much to my amazing subscribers for joining me today and also to address the elephant in the room. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the announcement that I am pregnant again. It caught us completely by surprise. And although Although our life is so chaotic right now, I do believe there's nothing better than God's timing, so I am grateful for this blessing. If you're a fan of vintage or pre-loved Chanel like me, then likely your world would have been rocked in 2015 when Chanel announced their revised repair policy effective October 1st. To summarize, repairs fall under three categories. First, there's under warranty, which applies for one year from the purchase date. This is complementary with all brand new Chanel bags straight from the boutique and your repair will be free of cost. Note, however, it is designed to cover defects, not user-inflicted damage. So issues such as wear and tear, stains and marks will fall under the next category, which is your after-sales service. It is important here to distinguish between light and intensive repairs and note that any bag accepted over the counter for referral to the after sales department will be authenticated. If you're only after a small service such as repairing a stitch or tightening screws or cleaning, Chanel will generally accept your handbag for repairs regardless of its age or purchase origin. I say generally because it is known that the policy will vary between stores and SA. But if you're lucky, it will be done free of charge, you won't need to provide proof of purchase, and even vintage bags will be accepted. If you're unlucky, your bag may be rejected under the guise of the 2015 policy change. Now, this is where the fine print really kicks in. As of October 1st, 2015, when it comes to intensive repairs, such as refinishing, which has to do with recoloring your handbag, and refurbishing, which has to do with a complete overhaul of the hardware, stitching, and or piping, Chanel will only accept your handbag if it meets two very specific criteria. First, it must be purchased from the Chanel boutique or an affiliated Chanel retailer and you have to prove this with either your purchase receipt or have the staff look up your purchase history in their Chanel customer database. And your handbag has to be maximum five years of age from the date of purchase. So what happens to Chanel bags which are purchased new from a reseller or Chanel bags purchased pre-loved from a previous owner? or Chanel bags purchased new from the boutique but they're past the five year mark. If it's intensive repairs, you have to go third party. Now, Chanel's way of justifying their stinginess was that intensive repairs were rarely used, so they were aligning with their customers' expectation by not offering an unnecessary service. We all know this is an excuse. In reality, Chanel is trying to kill two birds with one stone. By depriving you of after-sales service, they're trying to push consumers to only buy retail. They do not want the profits getting funneled to the pre-loved market and unauthorized sellers. 
And it's no secret that Chanel today has lost its roots in craftsmanship. This means that Chanel no longer has the skills required to service their vintage bags. Even if you pass all the hoops and your bag is accepted by Chanel for its after sales service, whether light or intensive repairs, beware that it may take months to return home and that it may return home in worse condition than when it left, as Chanel repair horror stories are common. Always remember that the vast majority of Chanel handbags are not repaired in the French workshop from which they came, but rather by your local repairer, which Chanel has partnered up with. Despite all the bad news, when it comes to seeking repairs, your first step should still be to contact your local Chanel boutique. So in my case, with my vintage Duma backpack, which is almost 30 years old, I was after a quote for replating as the 24 karat gold hardware had tarnished significantly. Typically, you bring your bag in so your essay can examine and hand over to the after sales department. But in my case, since I had a six month old baby during COVID, I opted instead to email them with photos of the tarnishing. And this is the reply I received. Although my request was for replating, Chanel for some reason suggested that the entire hardware needed to be replaced and they could not offer this service as they no longer stock that type of vintage hardware. So it confirmed what I had already suspected for my type of repair, which is essentially refurbishing, my only choice was to go third party. Luxury handbag repairers are limited and even more so when it comes to hardware. While they all advertise leatherwork, recoloring and restitching, few have the skills for replating hardware and the right industry connections for access to designer replacement parts. In Australia, I do believe Evans in Melbourne is one option. But in my case, I ultimately decided to proceed with leather surgeons and American repairer. Most likely many of you have heard of them and the fantastic reviews, but I do also want to be transparent and say that there have been a few complaints, mainly in regards to their recoloring services. So please just make sure to do your own research when it comes to your own handbag. Since my repairs concerning hardware and not leather services, I felt comfortable proceeding with leather surgeons. Specializing in a and Chanel and having repaired and authenticated over 250,000 Chanel bags, they have also worked miracles on bags you didn't think could be saved. It's a family owned business run by Jerry Gallagher with his sons Corey and Hunter and likely you'll come in contact with all of them during the process. Jerry responds directly to email inquiries and he confirmed that my hardware needed replating not a total replacement which Chanel had wrongly stated. Jerry also advised that my vintage Duma was quite unique in that it was purposely designed with two types of gold plating. Matte gold for the chain straps and shiny gold for the turn locks. Interestingly, when I went back to Chanel and inquired about this, they brushed me off with this hostile message regarding authentication. So perhaps Jerry and his team know Chanel better than Chanel staff themselves. Note, however, that leather surgeons can only replace in shiny gold and changing the original design intent from matte to shiny may cause confusion for future authentication if I were to sell on. However, since leather surgeons include complementary authentication on all repairs and this is a forever bag for me which I don't intend on selling on, I felt comfortable proceeding with the minor design alteration. Here you can see side by side the before and after shots of the replated hardware on my vintage Duma backpack. The tarnish was significant on my chain straps and bottom CC turn lock clasp, but now they are all glistening gold. The change from matte to shiny finish in the chain straps does compromise the backpack's previous grungy street persona, but hey, glossy gold just enhanced that chic Chanel vibe, so I still love the result. It's a significant upgrade from styling tarnished hardware. I was really impressed by Leather Surgeon's work and I also found their pricing to be fair. The cost for replating all of the hardware in 24 karat gold was under $300. 
Leather Surgeon's policy is that all of their repair quotes include complimentary domestic shipping within the state. But for me, I did have to pay almost $70 for international express shipping from Australia with signature on delivery. And I paid even more for the return shipping via USPS, Priority Mail International. So ultimately, my repair costs cost over $500, but it is worth remembering that about 30% of that was just spent on shipping fees. Since Australia is the furthest country from the States so if you do reside elsewhere in the world you can expect lower costs. To avoid paying customs import tax make sure to declare the parcel as bag repair with the accepted quote value and leather surgeons will do the same when they return the bag to you. Jerry will also email you the correct shipping address so make sure you don't use what's advertised on their social media because it is different. They will also email you a service request form which you need to complete and include together with your bag in the parcel. Leather surgeons recommend you ship only your bag. Even though I knew this was their policy, I still sent my Chanel dust bag because I didn't have a non-branded alternative and it did get lost. But fortunately, leather surgeons, they're really kind, so they sent me again separately two Chanel dust bags they found in their workshop in the hope that one of them was mine. Even if your tracking information states that your bag has arrived, know that leather surgeons will only confirm via email after they have formally logged your bag in their system, and this can take a few days. They will not send photos of the completed repairs, but they will notify you when it's ready and send you an invoice for processing. The default payment option is credit card, but if you prefer PayPal, just let them know. My repair took three weeks. Perhaps it could have been faster, but this was during coronavirus. And international shipping from Australia to America took four business days, which is standard. But for some reason, the return journey via USPS Priority Mail took over a month. For those of you who've watched my eBay horror story where my Van Cleef ring was lost in transit, you'll know that I was fearing the worst. So to save yourself the agony, plus I don't like the idea of my leather handbag suffocating in a sealed box for four weeks, try to delay your overseas repair until parcel deliveries are back on track. So how long should my repair last? Leather surgeons replayed in 3 microns of 24 karat gold, which is the European standard against which vintage Chanel gold hardware was manufactured against. So with proper care and moderate use, this replating should last at least as long as the original plating. It is worth remembering that the oils in our skins can turn hardware. So in theory, if we never touched the gold and storage conditions were ideal, it would last forever. So everyone, that brings me to the end of my detailed review for how I got my vintage Chanel Duma backpack repaired by a third party, which is Leather Surgeons in the United States. As a luxury handbag collector, it's essential that you understand the after sales policy and your options for how to future-proof the value of your handbags. This is especially the case with Chanel. Without confidence in their repairs and servicing, you cannot justify their skyrocketing prices for retail and vintage heirlooms. For my next month's video, I'm excited to return to the topic of the mess and the battle of the minis. I have here the Birkin 25, which I've just added to my collection. I have the Kelly 25 arriving in the mail as we speak. So who do you think comes out on top? Have an amazing start to the new year. See you again soon.